Okay, we'll go on to the next item. <laughs> item number four, council, <coughs> council consideration of mayor's office and cell phone with a bunch of my council member Brooks. Uh, and uh, if you would, council member Brooks, address this at this point. Well, just like Kay said there a while ago, we've done these citations and mowing yards and turning down buildings for years. Well, mayor, the mayor has always had office too, you know. I think if uh, instead of uh, a sheet of paper going around and getting four names on it, I think we need to take a vote on that. I was talking to Mr. Jesse about that the other day. And I, if I remember correctly, Dick, you said we could talk about this and have a vote on it. Yes, sir. Take the mayor's cell phone and all, you know. I didn't sign it because I always thought the mayor should have an office, you know. If you guys want his office, that's fine. I don't want his office time. You can have my office time. I think Chris Bivens said you can have his, and Claude said you have his. But uh, what I'm saying is, as far as cell phone, you know, we have, I think, 89 cell phones. It's not going to hurt for you to have a cell phone. Now, if all the other people want a cell phone, let's get a cell phone. You know, but I just think, I just don't think it's right to take your office away and your cell phone away. I don't know what it'll be next, but I just, uh, I think we need to vote on it. So I, I want it on public records, I'm saying, you know, instead of, uh, you know, I agree then, too. I think if uh, a council member wants to use the mayor's office for meeting with constituents, I think that is great. I, I, I can't think of a better thing to do, but I think if you're going to say you're there and then not be there when you say you're there, so that when the constituents come down, they may or may not find you there, I don't think that's fair to our constituents. I don't think it's fair to the taxpayers. Uh, I certainly don't mind moving into the council chambers whenever council member is down here and they want to talk to a constituent, that doesn't bother me at all. But if you say you're going to be here, be here. And if you're not going to be here, then give up your office time. Amen. But I certainly don't. It, it is definitely a hindrance to what I do to have me move from one room to another so you can be down here and not talking to constituents. So if you say you're going to be here, I think you should be here for the constituents. And as far as the phone goes, whatever council wishes, but it's pretty hard for somebody to get a hold of me if you don't have a phone. And there is an issue that we're going to have to clear up because it is a rather ambiguous, uh, I'll pose the city code and city charter, on uh, who is called at the, at the time of emergencies. Uh, that will need to be brought up at another meeting. Yeah. We do have a resolution to that effect that will bring up at another meeting. But until that's cleared up, and until we know for sure that's the case, I think council Members, if you want to take the phone, go ahead and vote to take it. But remember, it also puts a liability on you that the city cannot react in adequate time to protect the taxpayers. All right, so that's my feelings on that. Well, also, I like to say, you know, I, I know uh, Paul kind of took it on himself to make out a schedule, I think. That's what Debbie, I think, told me to make out a schedule. First of all, I don't want to be on the schedule, Paul, because I don't want people thinking, you know, I mean, it's on the internet, I understand, too, and I don't want people thinking, you know, that I'm here and I'm not here, you know what I'm saying? Because I, you have my time, I don't want to be here. People know where I'm at at Justin's restaurant, now they call me, I get all kinds of phone calls, you know, and I take them because I have a personal phone. But what I'm saying is, you know, I don't think it was Paul's responsibility to make out a schedule. And then, you got me down like two days a week, and you know, I can't be here, I have a business to run, and I know Paul does too, and Chris has one. And Chris, you know, retired, aren't you? So anyway, uh, I just don't think that's right. I don't want my name on the schedule, okay, is what I'm trying to say. I don't, it's hard for me to get away from work. Like right now, I should be working, but I'm pretty good. I feel that's for the taxpayers. But as I like said, as far as the phone, if y'all want a phone, I'm sure Tony can get in the budget here. We got some money in the uh, council's phone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, phone if you want a phone. Why take my mail and we'd add y'all a phone if you want a phone, guys. If you want one. And as for scheduling my time here in the city, I come down here, I give the time that I think is necessary that the taxpayers want to see me give to do what needs to be done. I don't need Council Member Lavelle who's telling me to land where I'm going to be in my office. I'll be in here whenever I need to be to give the taxpayers what they need. Right, let me that, say one more thing, and I'm going to quit, okay? No, I'm not picking up, I'm just saying Paul. I don't know if Paul knows this or not, but if you'll check the records with Larry, I think the lawn mowers, they have the people in those lawns for the city has a city phone. They can have a phone, you know, and the 
power changer has a phone. They didn't have a phone. Why can't you marry? They <laughs> <laughs> didn't have phones. Don't make sense to me. With that, if you would like to make a motion on whether or not considering uh, taking the phone and setting off the space in there, feel free to do so. Chair, can I make a motion? I wish I had a bit of a way on No motion? I don't want to have a motion to All right, with that, is there any other business?